Hey Cloud Gamers and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel, your destination for all things cloud gaming. Thanks to the wonderful guys at GameEnable.com for getting in touch and letting us know about their dedicated cloud gaming VPN. That's a virtual private network that allows you to bypass some of the country checks and they do tout zero latency addition to your connection. Now we will test that out for sure and in our testing it has been pretty much nothing, although we do see a one millisecond extra every now and then in the speed test so we'll let them off there with pretty much zero extra latency. You can see here that they have clients for Chrome, Edge, Android TV directly on your router, an iPhone and iPad beta app as well as dedicated Stadia and Game Pass apps but we're just going to look at the difference here in Chrome. You can sign up for eight dollars a month or you get a discount for six months and 12 months up front as well. There is an affiliate link in the description below. We'd be grateful if you did use that when you signed up. You do get a three day free trial. So if you do cancel within three days, you will not be charged. So I changed my VPN here to be mimicking in India and you can see that GeForce now is unsupported. So I'm gonna use the game enable Chrome extension here. If you use the auto detect, it does take one to two minutes the very first time, or you can just manually set a location. So it's picked UK London here for me. And now if I refresh the page on GeForce Now and see if I can sign up, you will see that this not supported message now disappears and it believes that I am now back in the UK. This works on GeForce Now and Stadia and they are looking to get this working on Xbox Game Pass as well. Although I haven't found as many countries that have been a problem with Xbox Game Pass as the others. So looking at some actual speed tests here then with Game Enable enabled, we did not see any drop in latency or jitter. You can actually see that even though I did the speed test with Game Enable enabled first, that I actually got a better jitter and latency with it enabled than when it wasn't. So let's look at Stadia then, we can see again staying on that VPN that Stadia is telling me that the game is not available in this country. So I'm going to go and turn on the VPN connection again. This time I'm just going to directly select UK and you can see how quickly that actually connects if you pick manually. And then I'm going to refresh the screen and go for Destiny 2 once again. You can see that because it had that disconnect initially to say that it was not available, it takes a little bit longer on the first load here. But it does get through that country check and now allows me to play. So Game Enable really doing its job here and able to bypass those country checks and get you directly into the game, providing your connection is good enough. Now, even if you are using this from an invalid country, it is still down to your network connection. So I have gone off the VPN here and just done some footage on Destiny 2 with game enabled on the right and without game enable enabled on the left. And you can see here that at 1440, absolutely no issues whatsoever. The only difference is that the left image has a little bit more data because I was looking around a bit more at the start before I got on the bike. But otherwise there is no latency difference here whatsoever. And I really didn't notice Game Enable making any latency or input delays, so I was extremely impressed here. So if you are looking to use a VPN without the full-blown subscriptions and all the hassle of having the actual subscription on your main desktop, this very useful Chrome extension definitely gets the job done. But do bear in mind that if your internet connection from an unsupported country is not good enough, you're still going to have the same problems when you try to game. So do make sure that when you're going to play Stadia, GeForce Now or Game Pass that you have a good enough stable connection. Ideally you want your jitter below 4 milliseconds and your ping under 50. Anything above that is going to cause you real problems, regardless of whether you're using a VPN or not. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you do decide to sign up to Game Enable then use the link in the description below, it will really help us out and we will see you next time.